What does it say to you as a former SDNY prosecutor you. yourself? Um, thank you very much that Cyrus Vance has brought in a couple of top prosecutors just in February. A guy named Mark Pomerantz, who specializes in white collar crimes and has put mafia bosses behind bars and who prosecuted John Gotti's son. What does that say to you? That guy named Mark Pomerantz was one of the stars in the office when I was there. So the fact that he was brought in meant they wanted somebody with experience at high profile cases, at complicated cases, cases that have a lot of a uh, lot of paper or a lot of evidence that you got to put a whole complicated timeline together. I, I know to a lot of people watching, this case feels like it's been around forever. Why is it yeah. taking them so long? Because it is complicated and they are doing it with great detail and you're watching each of the steps now. So when you saw Letitia James say we're going from a civil to a criminal matter, that tells you it's not just wrongdoing, but but potentially intentional wrongdoing. Uh, yeah. When you see a grand jury's been impaneled, that means that they think there's evidence to put before a grand jury. So step by step by step, we're moving along. And can I just stay with you for just a moment? Because I mean, I, I, I mentioned, you know, sitting on a grand jury, it is a lengthy process, but it's not usually six months. Um, what is, can you just walk us through how that works? Why would a grand jury be seated for that long? Um, and while that grand jury is seated, I know that most grand juries see a lot of cases all at once. It, are they there that long because they're just focused on this? Or would they operate like a normal grand jury and, and look at other cases? And is that, is that what would extend it to six months? New York County, you've got two different kinds of grand juries. You've got what most people think of as the grand jury, where people will put cases in front of them uh, for burglaries, uh, armed robbery, murder, you know, all the cases the DA's office will do. Then you have an investigatory grand jury for cases that are complicated where they're putting the evidence together. That's the grand jury that's going to give them subpoenas for searches, that's going to bring in witnesses, that's going to start having testimony brought in. It may not take six months. It could take longer than six months. They have the authority to go back to the judge and ask a judge to extend that grand jury. So nobody should think that this means something's going to happen tomorrow. Don't be waiting by your phone to get news of indictment tomorrow. Uh, this yeah. is going to take time. But clearly, this is a significant step.